Welcome to another video guys. I'm in the bunker at Tanamera Country Club. They were nice enough to allow me to film here um, and I get a chance to actually finally film some short game content for you guys. So I'm going to go over how to hit out of a bunker and go over how to set up, what the swing should feel like, all that sort of stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe because it really helps me to create more content like this for you guys. Now let's get started. To help you guys with this explanation, just so there's more detail, I've got my trusty hack motion sensor. This is gonna give you guys more detail on how my wrist is moving through the shot. And if you guys are interested in purchasing one or kind of learning more about this product, I will leave the link in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so this is kind of like a standard uh, bunker shot, pretty good lie, nothing really complicated here, pretty flat. And I'm hitting to a, a, a pin that has a fairly high lip and kind of in front of me there. This is kind of a, a shot that a lot of people are kind of scared of. It's kind of scary because it's quite short and people are kind of scared that they're going to hit the ball too far. They don't know how much sand to take or even how to really swing it in, in general. This is about, I'd say 20 yards. I'm using my 60 degree, which is my highest lofted wedge because I just have a lot more loft to play with. When I have a lot of loft, I can really get the club to slide underneath the sand and get the ball to launch higher quicker. You can use like a 56 degree or some lower lofted wedge, but it may launch a bit lower, uh, may go further than you want. You wanna try and use your highest lofted wedge to start. I'll explain the setup from the front view and then the side view and then I'll kind of show you some shots. Now, when it comes to the front view, you, you'll notice that my stance is quite wide. We want it wide because we want like a very stable base. If it was very narrow, you'll have a lot of movement in the knees and the lower body. Okay, people like to dig their feet in. You can see I'm like kind of digging my feet into the sand. Again, just to kind of give them more balance um, through the shot. So now the next thing, if I were to draw some, some lines in the sand, so I'm gonna draw a line through the sand here. You can see that relative to my stance, the ball position is slightly left of center. So if this line right here is like the center of my stance, it's about an inch or so left. We don't want it too far back in the stance because we don't want to catch the ball first. We want to actually make sure the club digs into the sand first, kind of goes underneath the ball, and that way the, the ball can launch high. Now the next part to consider is just where your weight is. My weight is never going to be on my back foot. If anything, you want it to be 50-50 or maybe just a slight majority on the left side. Okay, maybe 60% on the left side. So you can see this is kind of even. I've shifted my, my weight maybe 60% to my left. Ball position's about an inch left of center. Okay, with a wide stance. When it comes to like holding the club, this is where people make the biggest mistake is that they don't open the club face enough. You can see when I, when I turn the face over, you can see like it's like totally flat to the ground. To completely flat. There's no... It's not like this, just a little bit open. It is completely parallel to the ground. So once I've got that club face completely parallel, then I regrip. Okay, that's a very, very important part. I want to turn over the face first, then I want to regrip it when the club's very, very open, extremely open. So most people don't have the confidence to open it enough, which is why they can't get it to launch high enough. All right, so that's big mistake number one. Now, with my weight 60%, stance wider, ball position left, club face very, very open, parallel to the ground, you'll notice that the shaft of my club, for me, I, I don't like to have a lot of shaft lean at the start. I like to kind of keep my, the shaft of my club more neutral. The reason for that is because when we strike the sand, we don't typically want so much shaft lean. When there's a lot of shaft lean, you're going to tend to close the face and the leading edge is kind of is kind of going to move down. So that's going to mean that you're going to dig into the sand like too deep, and and you're not going to get the ball to launch high enough. Again, with the face really open, weight 60% on the left side, stance is much wider, ball position a little bit left of center. Okay, and then my the shaft of my club is pretty neutral. These are the setup keys um, from the face on view. Now that you kind of know some basics from the face on view, I'll give you a down line view of things to look for in your setup. If you can see it, I, I drew this line just straight in front of the ball. This just represents the target line. So it's like the, the line that's straight at the target. Okay, we're just going for that pin right there. 
And what's important is when you have your setup from the, the, the points that I mentioned from the face on, your stance can either be, you either want your stance to be perfectly parallel to your target line or just a slightly open is okay. You don't have to be like really insanely open like this. Okay, I wouldn't recommend that. Just a little bit open so you can see my stance line in the sand. It's a little, just a little bit left relative to the target line. When you're set up here, we got that club face completely horizontal to the sand. The next thing to, to kind of focus on is the height of the handle, okay? We want to make sure that the handle doesn't become too vertical. It'll, it'll make the swing a bit more upright. You'll hit, kind of hit down into the sand a bit too much. So you can see I'm kind of squatting down a little bit and I'm bringing the handle a little bit lower than normal. I feel like I'm a bit lower in my, 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 my legs. I'm squatting down just a bit. So when you bring the handle lower, that helps to add a little even more loft to the club. The club face, you'll notice that it's pointing a little bit uh, to the right of the, of, the, of the flag or the target, which is okay. A little bit to the right's fine. You don't have to open your body so much to, to point the club face down the target line. So just a little bit left. It's okay to have that club face pointing right. And then you, from there, you can kind of make sure that you begin your swing. So then you're really, really set up for a really good shot to get the ball really high and to give yourself the best chance at kind of the proper technique to kind of catch the sand a little bit behind the ball and not dig so deep. So again, just to review, stance is a little bit open or left relative to your target line. The handle is a little bit lower. You're gonna actually feel like you're squatting down a little bit more. Those are the main key points for the bunker setup from the side view. Okay, so now that you have kind of an overview of the setup from the face on and side, I'm now gonna introduce the hack motion just to kind of show you what I'm doing throughout my swing that's a bit different than a normal kind of backswing. So in that setup position that I was kind of explaining to you guys, the biggest difference, okay, is not only how vertical that you have to take this, but the fact that you have to not shut the face. We don't want to, to get the club face to close at all. Okay, that's a really important point. So again, if you can, if you can see it, I put the, the target line kind of in front and behind the ball. You'll see that. My stance line, remember, is a little bit left, just slightly open. I'm basically gonna swing down the line of my feet. So I'm gonna swing it kind of a little bit more outside and across it. With my setup in this position, I'm down, handles low, okay? I need to ensure that I keep the face open during the backswing. So I'm gonna actually intentionally add a lot of extension or cupping to my wrist as I take it back. I'm not keeping the face down like this. I'm actually adding more extension. I'm kind of feeling like I'm keeping the face really, really turned open as I take it back. So I'm taking it, feeling like it's going a little bit more outside it's picking up a little more away from the sand and I'm feeling like I'm turning over the face. The next big point to consider is the length of your backswing. That's another big mistake that people make is they don't take it back far enough. They see a very short shot and they're kind of scared to go back really far, almost to like a full backswing because they, they think that they, the big swing is gonna make it go too far, but it won't. As long as you touch the sand first, it's not gonna go too far. So you have to have the confidence in making a very big backswing as you take it back with a very open club face. That's the two main points, opening the face as you take it back, we're adding more extension. So you can kind of see the, the hack motion sensor as I take it back. I'm at a dress right now. And as I take it back, I'm adding more extension. You can see that the number's increasing there, okay? I don't want to take it back to where I'm like de-lofting the face or like adding more flex to my wrist. I'm taking it back adding more extension to my wrist. Face is more open, okay? The other mistake is that people try to swing the, the club kind of too much on this in to out path, okay? They try to swing it more this way, okay? So just remember that you're not trying to swing it into out in a bunker. You're trying to swing it down the line of your feet. So you're going more across the golf ball. A little bit more outside, you're picking it up, open face, and you're swinging it across to the left. Those are the three main points, or a couple main points from the side. The big, big keys, right? Opening the face, really long backswing, okay? And you gotta swing across it to the left. And the general rule I, I like to give to people is whatever distance that you have um, in the bunker to the pin, you wanna swing as if you're 
you're swinging it to like three times the distance. That's a, a kind of a general rule. So I'm just gonna try to hit one, and then we'll kind of see the numbers and see what, what it does. So if you look at the numbers here, so at address, it's, it's extended because of my, my, I'm gripping it. You can see I'm adding more extension or keeping that extension there. And then in, in my downswing, I'm still adding a little bit of flex in there, but you'll see from the face on what I do differently to ensure that I don't like deal off the face so excessively, okay? Let me just hit one more. So I'm feeling like I'm adding more extension to it. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna more, more cross it to the left. So now this one, you can really see, I, I really tried to add more and more extension as I go back. Okay, so it went from plus 38 to plus 60, and then at impact, I was still slightly extended. Hope this kind of gives you an idea, but you can kind of see if I replay that swing again in slow motion, I'm definitely picking it up away from me more. You can maybe see all that cupping that's happening in my left hand, my left wrist. The face is very, very open at the top and I'm swinging really across it with a lot of speed and I'm making my back swing really big. One key point that I want to mention from the face on when striking the golf ball is, is that point about not sh leaning the shaft so excessively. I mean, you can have like a little bit of shaft lean as you're striking it, but you want to have the intention of getting the shaft of the club to be more straight up and down than, than usual. You want that club head to kind of get more straight up and down or feeling like it's kind of leaning straight up and down or even backwards feeling. So the feeling that I have, even though from the side you still, you still saw that my wrist got into a little bit of flex coming down, I felt like I was coming in like this. So you can kind of see I'm letting the club head kind of release past my hand. I'm not getting the handle ahead of my, my hands here. Once you can kind of get the feeling of getting the club past your hand, that's kind of what you'd want to feel. So if you look at the hack motion, my feeling when I'm looking down at the, at the numbers is like it's really extended. Okay, even though that's not really happening in reality, that's kind of what my intention is. If I wasn't thinking about it, you'll, you'll probably see that my wrist gets even more flexed and that's not good when I'm trying to get the ball out high. My intention is opening up the face, going back, I'm adding extension, I'm coming back down and I'm feeling as though my extension stays the same or remains. I'm not adding the flex into it. I'm kind of keeping the extension. I'm feeling like the shaft is more straight up and down, okay? The second thing that's important is you want to make sure you try your best to strike the sand about an inch or so behind the golf ball, okay? If you strike it too far behind, again, you're not going to get, probably won't have enough speed to get through the shot or through the sand enough and you won't get the ball to, to, to fly out, okay? If you don't take any sand, you'll, you'll thin it. An inch behind the sand is kind of a good general kind of thing to think about. So you can practice that right in here. So I, I just draw a line kind of behind. I'm pretending the ball is over here and you're just trying to take out this chunk of sand out of the sand there. So let me try to see if I can do it. So you kind of see the line drawn here, the line where my ball is. I'm just trying to take this chunk of the sand out. Okay. So I kind of hit a bit more behind there. So again, if you do that, just cover the sand up. This is where I'm trying to hit. This is where the ball would be. Kind of like this. You can kind of see I, I took the sand just about an inch behind it there. So you can do that as a really great drill to practice out of a bunker to kind of get, get some control over your low point and where you're striking it because how much sand you take will also affect how high you can launch it, how much it rolls, how much spin you get, stuff like that. But this is a great exercise to kind of practice. So again, I'll do it over here. Maybe it's a bit more clear. Okay, so this is a bit of a line right here and maybe that's where the ball would be. And I'm just trying to take this chunk out of it here. Okay, so you can see where I struck the sand, just at that spot, and then I'm kind of making sure I have enough speed to get the sand or the club headed through the sand. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you have any questions about anything I talked about, you can leave a comment down below. If you guys want to send in your swings to me, uh, for me to analyze, you can check out my online programs on my Skillist profile. I'll leave the link to that also in the description box. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video.